This is a dish that my nonna used to make for me when I was a little boy. It's her blended meatballs with mushrooms and it is really delicious and simple to put together. It starts with some button mushrooms and the trick with these mushrooms is you chop them nice and fine. Now the reason I like to use mushrooms is that they're really, really tasty and add a lot of moisture to the meatballs as well. The mushrooms are full of water, so when you blend them with the mince, they help to keep it really, really moist. That way you can make a lean meatball and still have that moisture. The fat is what usually gives meatballs moisture, but by adding mushrooms that are chopped nice and fine, about the coarseness of minced meat, you add a lot of that moisture in there without the fat, and that is really healthy for you. You can see that only took me about 30 seconds, and the texture is just like minced meat. Once you've got them there, I'm gonna throw them into the bowl and show you that I've got about a third mushrooms to the amount of meat. Now in my bowl, there's some beef and some pork, but you can use whatever minced meat you like. And it's just a matter of adding a pinch of salt and then mixing it together with your hands. And that way, you make sure that you blend the mushrooms and the meat together really, really well. Now, if you want to reduce the amount of meat in your diet, this is a great way. You could become a blenditarian. Lots of blended mushrooms in with your meat and you've got a fantastic meal. Have a look at that. It looks fantastic, smells great, and I know it's gonna be packed full of nutrition. Once you've blended it together with your hands, it's just a matter of adding my nonna's favorite ingredients. Some Parmesan cheese goes in there, about a quarter of a cup, and some breadcrumbs to help soak up some of those juices. I like to put some garlic in there, about two cloves that have been minced, and of course, some parsley. Plenty of parsley goes in there. I took this from the garden and chopped it nice and fine. To bind it all together, I've got two eggs that have been lightly beaten. In they go. And a little trick is about a teaspoon of soya sauce. And if you like pepper, just mill some pepper straight over the top. Plenty of pepper makes it nice and spicy. And then in with the hands. And that is the best way to make sure that this is blended together really, really well. Once you've blended it all together, you'll smell that it's ready. It smells fantastic. It smells like my nonna's kitchen. Then all you need to do is grab a piece off like this, about the size of a golf ball, roll it around gently like that. And once you've got it ready, just pop it straight into your sauce. Now this is a really easy sauce that my nonna would make. Some onions, some garlic that have been sweated off in some butter and olive oil, some tomato passata, a little bit of stock in there. And then all you need to do is roll these meatballs, pop them in there, let them simmer away for about 20 minutes until the meatballs are cooked. Then you'll have a fantastic dinner. Can't wait for this one. My pasta's in the bowl and my meatballs are cooked all the way through. I like to tear off a little bit of basil just at the last second and fold it through. Smells fantastic. Now this is the next part. You just grab some of these meatballs with the sauce and pour it over the top there like that. Pile them up on top, let some of the meatballs fall down the side and all of that sauce goes all the way through the spaghetti. Now you can use whatever pasta you like, but I love spaghetti, one of my favourite pastas in the entire world. I'll pop a couple more of these meatballs on top here and you've got to admit, it looks fantastic. Now, a little bit of cheese on top here just to finish it off. Now, I'll grab a meatball to start with and I want to show you the blend of the pork and the beef and the mushroom together. Gives it a really mm, meaty flavour. It really tastes good. The mushrooms soften up the meatballs and keep them quite moist. There's a lot of flavour in here and I think that it's something you would love. If you're thinking about using some minced meat, why not blend it with some mushrooms? It's a great way to keep it tasty and nutritious as well. Mm, that's good. For more great blended recipes, go to blenditarian.com.au and download my ebook. You'll have great dishes like this and so many more. Oh, this is fantastic. Mm. My nonna would be proud.